What's up, Internet? Conan Bell here, and I play Fighting Leaf on the interwebs. Well, I told you it was coming. And so comes the next installment of the anime installment of Loot Crate Loot Anime. And yes, I actually did order this one intentionally. It's not a result of my mishandling of my own subscription and whatnot, etc., etc. However, today I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. Rather than just opening it up with a static camera and just reacting to everything that's in the box, I am going to take a little bit of extra time to show you in a bit more detail everything that I get. Yeah, it's gonna have a little bit of a uh, less authentic, oh, I'm surprised sound to it, but I'm still going to show you them and give you my actual impressions. And so, let's get started. The seal is officially broken, and now let's see what's inside. Today's theme is action. The first item on our list is the Loot Anime t-shirt featuring Battle Angel Alita. As you can see, this stylized image comes with a very interesting cybernetic eyeball-looking thing, whose uh, entire function I don't remember because I haven't actually read Battle Angel Alita in many, many years. I'm going to change that very soon because it is actually a very amazing story, and that's all I remember about it. And there was this one crazy dude who ate people's brains. That is also something I remember about it. He was creepy. Now this is something I was actually expecting much, much sooner. You see these? Specialty Naruto socks. Wouldn't Leaf look spiffy in these Ninja Academy socks, complete with the little emblems of fire on them? This month's pin is actually from an anime called Land of the Lustrous. This, again, I don't know if it's actually any good. It actually looks good, but, you know, you can never tell until you actually sit down and watch it. So, uh, guys, anyone who's seen this, do you recommend it, or is it just sort of okay? Tell me now! And now, for the piece de resistance, Dum da da dum 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 Juni Tyson Zodiac War Bamboo Fiber Cup I don't know what a fiber cup is. Let's find out together! So it's essentially a sort of fancy insulated coffee cup type thing. In this case adorned with the emblems of Juni Tyson Zodiac War. And I like saying it like that, so get off my back. And look at that. We have our snake, our ox. I uh, can't really tell what you are. Are you an old goat? I don't actually know what any of these characters are supposed to be. All I know is that these two need more pants in their lives. There we go. Fixed. Now here's something interesting. This is a book called Goblin Slayer. And I say book instead of a manga because... It's not a manga. This is what's called a light novel. This is what a lot of manga and anime that people love today started off life as. This is basically a proto-manga. If this thing is popular enough, it'll be adapted into one if it hasn't already been. So basically, if you want to write your own manga someday, but don't have any art skills and don't know anyone you can bribe to help you, well, you can always start them off as a light novel. And one day, someone's gonna say, Hey! I'm gonna turn this into a manga. And your life will never be the same. <laughs> And then, we got a hanky, I, I think, from Claymore. I recognized it from the, from the sword-shaped emblems on the corners there. 
that and the great big tag from from Funimation and whatnot. Yeah, um, I don't know if this is actually supposed to be a hanky. At first I thought it was a pillowcase, but it's not. I have no idea what the point of this thing is. And last but not least, we have the poster of spoilers. Because I already showed you everything else that was in here. We have the exclusive Juni Tyson Zodiac War poster thingy. With all of your favorite characters, obviously based off of the Chinese Zodiac. And yeah, once again, I have no idea what this show is or is about, but I imagine some kind of war is going on because of the word Tyson in the title. Also, after much research, looking at the back of this poster, I found out that this thing is actually a bandana. So, yeah, I now have Claymore headgear. All in all, while I'm not the biggest fan of socks in the world, I mean, I know I'm in the minority here, but, you know, there are other things that interest me more than socks. I still found plenty of good stuff here. The Battle Angel Alita t-shirt is actually quite nice. I'm going to be wearing it in my everyday life from now on, periodically. And... I've never actually read a light novel before, so this will be interesting to look into as well. But the most important thing that I took away from this is learning about the existence of Zodiac Wars. That... I've kind of been burned out on shonen anime for the past few years, and My Hero Academia has helped a lot in helping me recover from that, but I really think that an action show like like Zodiac Wars might be exactly what I needed. So, thanks a lot for indulging me in this endeavor again, and I will see you all next time. Until then, stay awesome.